in playing with these, I kind of feel like I cut this too big that maybe it should have been a little less. I don't know. We'll see. I've kind of cut up crystals, lots of little chunks, melted my melt and pour. I've put these in, attached them with a little melt and pour. Um, now I need to like fill all around with the little crystals, which I don't know if they're chopped up well enough. So I guess the question is just how to get them on and get them sticking. So I think I'm going to pour just a little in. Mix it up and then put them on. took forever but oh my word I keep knocking them over I have six geode gemstone whatever soaps done this final part is to take some mica in rubbing alcohol and go around and kind of jazz up the edges. Now I'm trying this light gold from Brambleberry which is actually discontinued um, because that's what I did the base and what I added just a little bit of color to the melt and pour for but I'm not sure how well it will stand out. Um, I could try gold. Oh, look, that piece wasn't on. Um, but I just feel like since I kind of have this theme of this color going, I should stick with it. It's not standing out too much. Um,
like on my screen the gold is not showing up the light gold so I don't know if you can see it or not um, generally when I get it on my computer it looks better but on the camcorder it always looks washed out I don't know there's bright pink and just the gold Maybe I'll do half and half. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm going to finish coloring or painting the rest of these. And yeah, I can tell you this. They are a lot of work and I am, I say never, but I know I should not say never. I am 99.9% .9 never making these again. Um, but I tried it. I see what they're like. And now I can say, yep, I don't need to ever make these again. <laughs> Gosh, there's so much work.